Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're going to be creating this awesome effect that you actually see. It can be used in Framer, Webflow, custom coded sites, and it's just gonna take a few minutes, which is pretty hard to imagine, but let's go ahead and actually create something like this. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I wanna talk about a really awesome tool, which is Unicorn Studio. What this basically allows you to do, it allows you to create really awesome effects like these and easily embed them directly into Framer or Webflow or your custom coded site. It's really easy to use and it's really easy to implement and it's really small in terms of size, size so it's not gonna make your site heavy, unlike let's say Spline. Spline is obviously a great tool, but it actually makes your site really heavy. So let's go ahead and actually check out some of the effects that they have and how they actually achieve them. This is really simple, really straightforward. So the, here we have some of the templates that they have. For example, something like this, this effect, like for example, I can go ahead and I can write my name here. This effect is really simple. I can go ahead and I can change the font as well. I'm gonna to go to sans serif. Let's just go ahead and actually choose intertight. So you have an effect like this, very simple. How is this actually being constructed? Let's just go ahead and actually hide everything so we can see it. So just by five layers, that effect is actually being achieved. Obviously you have a background layer, but apart from that, you just have an image, really straightforward, simple image. You have a blur layer on top that's blurring this particular image. You have a liquify effect that's basically liquefying that particular image and blur. Liquify or any effects, what they usually do is they usually go ahead and actually apply that effect on all of the layers that are below. And I can go ahead and I can tweak it. Okay, how much amplitude should it be? How much should it actually blur thing, these things out? I can tweak them. I can decide how much that should happen. Like what's the speed of this particular animation? Should it be too much? Should it be really less something like I don't know, something like this. And you have interactivity on most of these effects, which decide how much should they actually track your mouse. Then we can obviously have a simple text effect on top. And this glyph dither, this is basically dithering the whole thing, the, both the text and the actual liquify thing at the bottom to something else, basically to this particular uh, sprite that we have, just which is just a combination of a bunch of characters. And that's it. That's how you basically go ahead and achieve an effect like this in just four or five, let's say five or six layers. Let's go ahead and actually have a look at some of these other effects that they have. Like for example, an effect like this, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen on the Hewley website. So you're moving your mouse around that particular uh, smoke at the background is moving. You have light rays coming from the top. You have a beam that's coming at the edge. You have these particles coming from the top as well. Is this freaking insane? So the smoke is coming from here. As you can see, this is the smoke. This is the Winnet effect. What it basically does is it, it just goes ahead and actually uh, makes the thing that's below it uh, slightly darker. So you can obviously see everything. If you don't wanna see it, if you only wanna see part of it, you can just move this particular thing, right? I can say I wanna move this Winnet effect here and it's gonna start showing me that area and I can decide what radius it's gonna be like. Very simple, very straightforward. The thing I like about this tool, it's very straightforward and very easy to understand. You want a beam, no worries, you can have a beam, just go ahead and actually drag a beam, decide what that beam is gonna look like, and that's pretty much it. You have another beam that's basically sitting at the bottom, obviously it's rotated, so it's horizontal. You have a shape, I'm not even sure what that shape is doing because I haven't really seen it that much. You have the image, this is the actual image. Inside the image, we have a vignette effect. As you can see, if we remove the vignette, the vignette, as we've discussed previously, it basically just hides the thing that you wanna hide. So this vignette effect is hiding this image because the vignette effect is here somewhere in the middle. And what we're saying on this vignette effect, as we can say on most of these filters, is I want you to track my mouse. So as I'm moving my mouse, I want this vignette effect that's a circle to basically just follow me around. It's as simple as that. And that's pretty much it. And then you have your wisps coming from the top, which basically can be changed in color. These are the particles that you actually see here. You can even move them if you want and you can by uh, having them follow your mouse. So as you can see, I'm going here, they're moving based on my position, even though they have a directional flow to them. We can do all of that magical stuff. I don't think like moving this with your mouse actually makes sense, but you can control the speed, you can control the movement, you can control the blend mode as well. They have so many awesome effects that are already available. You can just directly go here, you can see a bunch of different effects that are really cool just basically laying there. If I wanna add a God Ray, I can go ahead and I can basically move it here. And now you can see we have the God Rays interacting with the elements that are actually placed here. So if I had it, let's say text, I'm just gonna add a text here. I'm gonna say, hey there, 
or something along those lines. I'm just going to place it, let's say here, and I'm going to place it behind the God rays. Now, as you can see, even since the God rays are actually here and I've placed them, they're actually affecting this particular text as well. So I can go ahead and I can say, okay, this is going to be, let's say white. Let's just go ahead and actually make it completely white. Let's go ahead and decide, okay, the letter spacing is slightly going to be less. And I can place that wherever it is I want. And that's actually going to affect how the God rays respond to them. So I can say on the God rays, that the diffuseness is going to be less or the exposure is slightly going to be up or high, the intensity, how much intensity should it be there. And I can also go ahead and actually move the God rays based on my mouse position and have a momentum. Like for example, if I now move it, as you can see, my mouse is changing how the God rays actually affect this beam or this particular thing or anything that I have here. So amazing stuff. Now, obviously, let me just go ahead and actually remove that. If you want to go ahead and actually export that, uh, you just click on embed. There's a button to actually export it or publish it. You click on that. You can go ahead and decide the frame rate. You can decide, go ahead and the scale. You can decide, for example, if you want the logo. Obviously, if you turn off the logo that they actually place at the bottom or something, that's going to be $8 per month. Um, but obviously, if you're building out really awesome websites like this, I mean, $8 per month is nothing. In my opinion like it's it's a good price obviously it's not nothing but it's a good price to actually achieve really awesome effects like this because these effects are really going to help you stand out i can go ahead and i can make this absolute i can go ahead and make sure that the hundred the width and the height are 100 percent. and here's my component now if i go down as you can see there's a project id here i can decide what the project id is going to be so here's the project id i can just click on that i come here i paste it and i just play it and let's just see what happens basically so as you can see, that particular logo made with Unicorn Studio is here. And I have this awesome effect that's basically at the background. Now, obviously, if I want this effect and if I really want it to be like, let's say, Yuli or whatever, I probably need to go ahead and actually make some changes. So let's just go ahead and move everything that we have here to the left. So I can go ahead and I can move this image to the left. One thing that I actually don't really like about them, they don't actually support grouping right now. So if I, let's say, want to group these things and I want to move all of them together, if I press shift and I want to move all of these things together, I unfortunately am not able to do that. So I have to manually go ahead and position things. I'm going to position this image here. Let's go ahead. Once I've actually placed like those, sorry, the God rays, the wisps, let's go ahead and actually choose them. So I'm going to move the wisps here. I'm going to choose the image. Obviously, the image is already moved. I'm going to choose this beam. Let's just move it here. I'm going to choose this other beam. Let's just go ahead and actually move it here. Let's go ahead and actually choose these clouds. Uh, now, obviously, I don't have to necessarily choose the clouds because they're already 100%, but let's just go ahead and actually choose this particular thing. And I can decide how I actually want to do it. Let's just go ahead and actually just update it. We don't have to do much. And we can obviously move our content to the left. So you can have something like this. If I was to move it, let's say to the left, I can just say, and there you have your effect directly in Framer that particular effect, you can move your mouse around and you have an amazing effect. Obviously they say made with Unicorn Studio so you can get rid, with, get rid of it by obviously based the subscription. So I think this is a really amazing tool that's gonna help you bump up your Framer, Webflow or even custom development game to the next level. It's gonna help you really create amazing hero sections and it's really easy to use, really easy to implement and as obviously it's gonna keep on progressing so definitely check this tool out.